filled congressional districts. A Miami-Dade school board member says he's just the man to help fix District 26. Team 6 reporter Hank Tester is live in West Miami-Dade to explain why. Hank. Well, he says he is the man because the Republicans want this district bad, back badly. They lost it to uh, a candidate that they all seem to have real problems with, and they're going to attempt to take it back with Carlos Caballo. Let's take a look. Family in tow, a backyard announcement, a big step for a Miami-Dade school board member. A new hat in the ring in District 26, U.S. Congress from the state of Florida. District 26, from Naples to the Keys, western Miami-Dade County, now represented by Democrat Joe Garcia, who in the last election smoked former Republican Congressman David Rivera. It was a slugfest campaign, charges of phony candidates, ballot rigging. Now Garcia plagued with an investigation of a former campaign aide, who state authorities allege attempted to secure absentee ballots. People are deeply disappointed at the torrent of scandals that constantly emanate from Washington from the IRS abusing its power to an embarrassing absentee ballot scandal led by the incumbent's campaign in our own district. Carlos Corbello cited his success as a Miami-Dade school board member, how that board has gotten down to business after turbulent times. And to see how the school board has come together, and we have people from both parties, from different ideologies. Garcia has amassed an impressive war chest, reports of up to 800,000 in early going, Corbello charges that Garcia is obsessed with running for office. We need people that are less concerned with the next election and more concerned with addressing some of these big issues. Corbello faces at least two competitors for the Republican nomination. With that in mind, this response from the Joe Garcia campaign. There will be a time for campaigning and politics once the other side picks a candidate. Okay, and that statement from the uh, Garcia campaign, so true because the candidate just announced today will be facing former Miami-Dade Commissioner Joe Martinez and also Cutler Bay Mayor Ed McDougal. They've announced they, too, are going to run. Should be quite a showdown. Reporting, I'm Hank Tester, NBC6, South Florida.